Welcome back to New Rockstars, I'm Eric Voss, and the latest trailer footage for Hawkeye on Disney Plus in this latest Dick the Halls themed promo reveals some new details like yet another naughty lister ruining Christmas for the Barton family. So I'm gonna break down all the new stuff we have learned headed into this six episode Hawkeye series that's gonna get us through the holiday season. But before I begin, this video is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Here here we go. Can I tell you a secret? I'm working with an Avenger. Can I speak to your manager? Didn't realize we were supposed to bring guns. So Kate Bishop, played by Haley Steinfeld, is Clint Barton's protege, future member of the Young Avengers, is here in her elevator bragging to a neighbor about working with an Avenger. And the sign behind her lists the elevator's capacity as six people, which I just gotta say is the same number of people in the OG Avengers lineup, perhaps the number of people who are gonna be in the Young Avengers. And remember, they did make Hulk take the stairs when they arrested Loki. And in that elevator, six was the number of people that Tony Stark set as the weight limit. Just saying, between this in the Infinity Stones, there is something about the number six in the MCU being the cosmic limit to the gravity of everything. Next, there's a new look at the characters Echo and Kazi. Echo, played by Alakwa Cox, is a deaf mercenary with enhanced reflexes. She's worked for Kingpin in the past, and her father was actually killed by Kingpin. But to her right is Kazi, aka the Clown, a character from the 2013 Matt Fraction David Aha Hawkeye comic run that this whole series is based on. He's a mercenary who has also worked for Kingpin and is connected with the tracksuit Dracula's gang that will be a big part of this series. Now, minor spoiler warning, but the clown does end up killing Clint's neighbor Grills as a way to harass Clint and try to get to him. And since this series seems to be adapting the comics in a way to make Kate Bishop the tenant of the building that the tracksuit Draculas are trying to claim as turf, I'm now really worried about that friendly old man that Kate talks to could end up being Grills and he could end up getting targeted by Kazi or the other tracksuits. Clint asks the tracksuits, can I speak to your manager? Now, the leader of the tracksuit Draculas is a guy named Ivan, but if you think about about it in the comics the tracksuits are actually working for Wilson Fisk Kingpin so yes I think we all really do want to speak to the top manager of this operation and then Kate trying to rescue Clint crashes in through the skylight putting her in the same mess that he is and says didn't realize we were supposed to bring guns then we see more shots of the ice rink in 30 Rockefeller Plaza that this series is gonna be shooting a lot of action scenes in as well as more shots of Clint LARPing with some other kids in the woods now he has a cut on his head here I mean this could be after at least his initial run-in with the gang, and he may be trying to track down who that masked kid cosplaying as himself showed up on the TV was, assuming this would be a good place to look. So he play fights kid after kid until one of them legitimately knocks him on his ass, and that will be the girl he's looking for. And Clint says, it's almost Christmas and I can't go home until I fix this. So in this die-hard style action comedy, initially this really isn't Clint's problem, but he does get dragged into it anyway, and he can't enjoy Christmas until he fixes it. It is possible that one of his past past attacks on organized crime, like against the Yakuza or the Mexican cartel we heard about in Endgame, could have created a power imbalance with several street gangs in American cities that allowed the tracksuit Draculas and perhaps Kingpin pulling their strings to ascend in these urban turf wars. So yeah, Clint feels responsibility in helping bring them down. We see Clint on the phone and from the change of plans promo last week, we know Linda Cardellini is returning in this series as his wife, Laura Barton. We also see the exterior of the Broadway theater show that Clint brings his kids Kids to Rogers the Musical, adapting the events of the 2012 Avengers, The Battle of New York. Actually, in that Change of Plans promo, we saw more of the amazing choreography, including the guy playing Iron Man, levitating on a fly system, doing the same Iron Man repulsor pose. Now, if you want to start a business, you need a good online presence. You want people to know you're legit and not some fly-by-night weirdo with a website from 1998. Squarespace is the only one platform to build a beautiful online presence that belongs in 2021. Squarespace lets you present members-only gated content, connect your social media media accounts, present video content, and all the other cool features to give you a super cool, super functional website for your hobby or your business. Squarespace will even sell you a URL. Collect the emails of interested folks and send custom newsletters to keep them up to date on your very modern activities that aren't all stuck in 1998. Head to squarespace.com for a free trial, and when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash new rockstars to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. That's squarespace.com slash new rockstars for 10% off your first purchase of 
of a website or a domain. Then there's this awesome stunt of Kate Bishop in her Ronin attire stomping a wine bottle in a wine cellar to fling it into a dude's face. Now this wine cellar location with the rubble on the floor looks like it's the same location as the wine cellar secret auction that gets plowed into in the previous trailer, an auction that I have speculated could be the auction from the Hawkeye comics where Kingpin, among others, bid on footage of Hawkeye assassinating someone. In this case, I'm wondering if that footage being bid on could be video evidence from Clint's assassin days during the blip, which would expose that Ronan assassin as one and the same Clint Barton, something that could really complicate his relationship with his family and his whole legal status. Now, in the comics, the auction was arranged by Madame Mask, who I think Vera Farmiga will be playing a version of as Kate's mother, Eleanor Bishop. She's sipping wine in the shot, obviously. A wine cellar would be a location she might know her way around. And with her wealthy aura, it is telling that her daughter lives in a less prosperous housing situation, suggesting she doesn't want to take her mother's money or was cut off. Either way, some tension between these two. There's another shot of Kate firing her tennis ball arrow at that bell rope to ring it. And now the hooks at the end of the arrow spin in a way that kind of make him look like a propeller guiding the arrow on a trajectory. Yeah, clearly she's someone who loves customizing her arrows and is super delighted to find Hawkeye's trick arrows like a kid in a toy box. And there's more of that car chase, also from the Fraction Aha comics. Clint runs over an inflatable tube Santa outside the Christmas tree park saying, sorry Santa, definitely wants to get off that naughty list. And he gives Kate some trick arrows to fire at that van, Trust a Bro Moving Company, which I pointed out before is a nod to the tracksuit Dracula's always adding bro to their sentences. And then back in the apartment, they're all dressed festively, including Lucky the Pizza Dog, also from the comics. And we get a better look at that poster on the wall, a movie called Creature of a Dark Galaxy with cast names, including looks like Milara Brandon and Loki Ballard. That's a couple weird names. Is this some Loki variant from this universe who acts in sci-fi horror movies that we've never heard of? And now Clint with frozen food taped all over him, including what looks like a bruised wrist, raises a purple mug. Just nice to see Clint finally color coded with purple after the MCU for so long avoided that comic color. The man looks good in purple. Now the one detail we have yet to see in any promo footage is Florence Pugh as Yelena Belova, who was last seen tasked by Val to hunt down Clint Barton in that Black Widow post credit scene. Pugh is confirmed to return in this series, but I am wondering if she could be like a one episode cameo and then they go their separate ways, kind of like Ahsoka Tano's one episode arc in The Mandalorian season two. Let me know your favorite part from this trailer and you can support New Rockstars by checking out our merch options at newrockstarsmerch.com. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at EA Voss. Follow New Rockstars and subscribe for breakdowns of everything you love. Thanks for watching. Bye.